Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing another spell for you guys as we are getting closer to New Year's and wanting to kick off this new year to the best of our, you know, putting our best foot forward. Uh, this is a spell that you can do on New Year's Eve, uh, New Year's Day, or the second day of the year. However, you can do this whenever you like throughout the year, whenever you feel like uh, you're wanting to draw in abundance and success, you can do this. Um, ideally, I do highly encourage you guys to do it at least in the beginning of the month of the year, um, just so that you can be able to fully see the manifestations and, uh, you know, to be able to take in uh, everything that you've experienced throughout the year. Now, this is what we call uh, a triumphant spell, but this is going to be customed uh, specifically to draw in abundance and success in every, any or every endeavor that you're doing. So as you guys can see, I am doing this for a client and I decided to record this. I know we haven't really had a lot of time uh, to put spell works out there for you guys. It's just been a crazy year, as you guys know, uh, been so busy, but I did want to make sure to integrate at least a few spells in the beginning of the year. Um, to help you guys bring in whatever it is that you're trying to draw in, whether it's love, abundance, success, etc. So as you guys can see, like I said, I am doing this for a client of mine. You can see a candle that has already been done and consecrated for them. Um, you can find these candles that are uh, personalized, custom, and made um, specifically for abundant success, growth, love, etc. You can find all that on my online store. But with that candle, we want to make sure to uh, give them a triumphant um, jar that is going to give them fully the benefits of drawing in as much abundance as possible for 2022. So as you guys can see here, I'm going to take you guys really quick to what you're going to need. And I'm sure this is something that you guys probably have at home. Uh, most of the ingredients are very uh, easy to access. So you're going to be needing some type of rice. It doesn't matter the type of rice. Ideally, white rice would be preferred. You're also going to be needing some coconut. You're going to be needing some beans, some lentils, um, which are lentejas in Spanish, and some beans. Ideally, two different, two or three different type of beans. Um, as you guys know, all of these are considered very fruitful and um, are highly used for abundance. Um, so as you guys can see here, we're also using some rose petals. You do have the option of doing that if you want to uh, incorporate uh, being successful in not just money and abundance um, in any endeavor in regards to career, but also to make sure to have a harmonious and very prosperous year in love. So again, um, we're using here the, the roses, the petals. Um, you don't need that, but like I said, I am specifically doing this for clients, so we're integrating love into um, their life as well. Now, another thing that you guys can do, um, this is not something that is necessary. However, I do encourage um, anything that has to do with money and success and abundance, we need obviously to draw in and use ingredients that are going to draw in money, wealth, opulence, basically. Um, but you also want to integrate some type of dice as it is a representation of gamble. It is a representation of um, anything that has to do with luck and, and swaying luck into your favor. So again, um, you can use any type of dice now for spell works that are specifically for clients. I always use the dices that I purchase whenever I go to Vegas. Um, these are dices that are actually used in the casinos. Uh, this brings massive energy uh, for chances of game and being able to be lucky in that aspect. So again, um, I would highly encourage you guys to integrate that however it's not needed. So what you're going to be needing is if you guys obviously probably don't have the... Um, uh, the fourth uh, pentacle of Jupiter uh, candle that you guys can see here that was done for a client. So I would highly encourage you guys to get four uh, white seven day candles to do this spell. 
because you do need the or incorporate the four elements and you do want to empower it as much as you can so again if you don't have those anything that has to do with love uh, sorry not with love with luck with success and abundance uh, whether it's a road opener candle whether it's a money candle um, if you don't have none of those at your disposal um, or like the one that I'm providing for my client then I would highly encourage you guys to uh, stay neutral and get yourself uh, four white uh, seven day candles that you're going to be uh, basically burning with the jar right at the center to empower and really um, pull in that energy all right so let's take it to what you're going to be needing you're going to be needing some type of coins um, you guys can see here any kind of coins it doesn't matter um, it doesn't matter the denomination it doesn't matter um, if they are um, real coins I know a lot of people have commented in previous videos um, that in their country you guys don't uh, use or in some countries they don't use coins um, so you can actually uh, implement any type of coins or anything that is a representation of the coins um, so as you guys can see here we're using these you're also going to be needing some type of jade paper so jade paper is again ancestral money I'm sure if you've used or done any of my money spells you already know we use jade money very often uh, in order to give to our ancestors to feed to our ancestors and our guides um, so that they can uh, be able to manifest and assist us here in the earthly plane so you're going to be needing some type of jade money you're also going to be needing a green marker obviously green for money a white piece of paper with no lines you're going to be needing a jar or container you're going to be needing some thyme you're going to be needing some Florida water for the cleansing uh, and the clearing of energy of your jar. You're going to be needing some cinnamon powder. Like I said, some coconut. Uh, you're going to be needing rice. You guys can see here. And three different types of beans. We are going to be using some lentils, some red uh, beans, and some northern beans here um for this spell okay all right so let's get to the nitty-gritty of this okay so i am going to put this to the side really quick all right so firstly what we're going to do is you're going to get the jar that you're going to be using and of course if um it's always important to start off our spell works, cleansing our space and cleansing the tools and ingredients that we're going to be using. As you guys can see, we've already done this uh, process, but I'm going to show you guys for showing purposes. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a white cloth or um, anything that you can cleanse or clean uh, the container that you're going to be using. And you're going to be pouring some of the Florida water on here. And you're going to rub it all over and you're going to cleanse it um, you can say something like I cleanse and remove any excess negative energies or en any energies that may hinder the spell work that is about to commence I cleanse and purify and empower so once that is done what we're going to do now is I'm going to move this really quick you guys and move this as well so what we're going to do now is you're going to get your white piece of paper and this is why i already did this because it's very time consuming you guys um so what you're going to do is you're going to draw in a circle um obviously that's simple right okay so it's going to look something like this and what you're going to do now is you're going to write down uh, with the green marker you're going to write down inside so you're going to go in the circle and what you're going to do is first you're going to put i you're going to put your first name last name date of birth um in within the circle so what you're going to do is you're going to be going all around let me give you guys a And 
the whole purpose of this is to not pick up your marker when you're doing this, okay? I'm only using the pen just to show you guys so that you can be able to distinguish the green um, or the black, sorry. Um, so that's why I'm using it. So what you're going to be writing down is I, as an example, like this. I, uh, Jessica Pinkstar, uh, born on the day, and you're going to put your date of birth. And you're going to go in a clockwise position to your right, always to your right, because you're drawing in that type of energy. So when you're doing this, I need you guys to really sit with it for a little bit and try to... Uh, prioritize what is it that you're wanting to uh, draw into your life for this coming 2022 uh, anything that has to do with success with money as an example if you want your business to flourish you can put something like I pinky pink star doll born etc etc um, call forth uh, the success of my business uh, allow me to be able to experience making a certain amount of money every month, um, to be able to expand and continue growing, to be able to experience fulfilling and very um, abundant experiences within this 2022. You can write down basically whatever it is that you're trying to draw in. For those of you guys out there that are trying to get a job or perhaps you're at a job and you're just not happy there or um, there is some type of hindrance in in your expansion uh, you can write down i'm drawing in the perfect um, employment the for, the perfect job the perfect company that's for me where it is a very loving nurturing uh, very harmonious type of environment where i'm getting paid be specific okay so this is the thing you need to be extremely specific um and to the point, okay? You don't want to write down a whole paragraph. Uh, but what you're going to be doing is, again, like I said, you're going to start off right at the top of the circle going towards the right. And make sure that when you start writing, you're going to be writing and handwriting. Um, I think it's cursive. Um, and the whole purpose of this is you're staying within the circle and you're not lifting the marker. So don't worry about how crappy it looks. Don't worry about don't worry about none of that. Just make sure that you're putting because when you're writing, you're putting that intention. So be clear, specific and to the point. Like I said, you're going to go all around the circle, um, staying within the circle, going towards your right. So you're going to continue writing down and you may need to, um, you know, turn the paper a few times as you're going around because you cannot lift the pen. I, sorry, the marker. If you accidentally lift the marker, you need to redo it again, okay? Very crucial, you guys. Um, I can go really deep into why you do it this way, but I just, for time purposes, um, I just, you know, just don't lift it. If you do, you need to redo it all over again. So you're going to go all around the circle until you get to the very tip. Once you get to the center, to the point, you lift your pen, uh, sorry, you lift your marker up and you're going to sign, all right? Okay, so once that is done, as you guys can tell, going in a circle, writing down exactly exactly what you're trying to draw in is very time consuming. So for showing purposes, we've already done that. I just wanted to give you guys a visual. Once that is done, what you're going to do now is you're going to put some of the cinnamon powder you're going to put some of the cinnamon powder inside the circle and you're going to rub it being grateful and thankful to the universe. I thank the spirits. I thank my spirit guides for being present, for guiding me, for helping me to empower this spell that I'm about to commence. May it be to the best of my abilities. May it be to the best of my interest and higher self and higher purpose. I thank the universe and I thank my spirit guides my ancestors and archangels for being present, for being able to show me and help me experience the plentiful, opulent life that I deserve. I am worthy. I am worthy. I am worthy. So once you're done thanking your spirit guides, your ancestors, um, once you're done, even if you want to introduce or incorporate your deity in this process, you can absolutely do so. 
And once you're done thanking them, you're always going to say um, that you're grateful and that you're thankful for it. You're going to say you're worthy and you're deserving of it and say that three times. Once that is done, what you're going to do is you're going to turn the paper to the right. You're going to close it towards you. You're going to turn it again to the right and again to the right, and you're going to turn it towards you. Then you turn it to the right. Then you turn it to the right, and it's going to look something like this. Make sure that the paper or the circle is exactly the size of the container that you're going to be using. Why? Because we're going to be introducing this in here, as you guys can see, like this, and you're going to incorporate it in there, as you guys can see. Okay? All right, so that's step one. Once we're done with that, what we're going to do now is we're going to get, um, let me put this to the side. You're going to get a... Oh, geez, where did I put my... You guys, I can find my matches, finally found them. So what we're going to do now is we are going to light... We're going to light the jade paper. And what we're going to say is we're going to say, I call upon my ancestors and archangels, my spirit guides, to please be present and guide me. Receive this as an offering, as a thank you for the blessings that are being bestowed upon me as we speak. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. And you're gonna light it. As you guys know with J paper, uh, the moment it turns green, or you see a green flame, you know that your ancestors are taking that blessing, as you guys can see the green, not sure if you can really see it, but it's green, so. All right, so the blessing has been taken. Uh, if any chance at this, you know, in this process, the jade paper doesn't turn green, you already know that you need to offer more. And again, be very concise and genuine, authentic when doing this process, you guys. Show the same gratitude and thankfulness as you were to feel, uh, knowing that you are or experiencing the success and the abundance as if it already is. Uh, this is very crucial to keep your intention and your gratitude as pure as possible. All right, my lovely. So once that is done, what we're going to do now is I'm just going to wait for it to cool off a little bit. And this is going to go inside the jar. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add some of the time. All right, we're going to add some more of the cinnamon. And you can use three coins, four coins, or seven coins. Ideally, I would suggest for you guys to use seven um, only because we are integrating our spirit guides and our ancestors in this process. And seven is a very powerful magical number when dealing with spirit guides or any guides um, in any realm. And if you catch my drift, well, you catch it. Okay, so we have seven here. And you're, as you're dropping the coins, put energy and effort, your intention into this. I thank my spirit guides. I thank my ancestors. I thank my guardian angels for assisting and empowering this spell that I'm about to commence. You drop it. I thank my spirit guides, my ancestors, and archangels. Thank you for empowering. Thank you for bringing to me the blessings that have been and I continuously keep experiencing that are being bestowed upon me. Drop it. And you're going to do that for every single one. Give me one second.
Okay, so once we're done with that, shake it a little. You're gonna put your hands over the container, or over the jar, and you're gonna say, Earth, air, fire, water, I call to thee to assist and empower. By the element of spirit, I call on my spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels. I thank you for the blessings that are being bestowed upon me at this very moment. I thank all the blessings that I continuously keep experiencing and will continue to experience for the year 2022. I open my heart, my mind, my body, and my spirit to receiving all the blessings, all the opulence, all the success, all the wealth and prosperity that comes into my life. For as I am blessed and I am thankful, I am able to bless and thank and bring prosperity and opportunities and miracles to others in perfect trust and in perfect love. Blessed be. All right. Once we're done with that, my lovelies, we're going to get into the. We're going to get into the. Putting of the ingredients here. Sorry, you guys, if you guys hear, like, noise in the background, um, it's the family, everyone's here, the holidays are basically here, <laughs> New Year's is, or New Year's Eve is tomorrow, so. Okay. Actually, before I put this, I want to put the some of the rose petals. Sorry, if it's loud. And like I said, you don't have to put um, you don't have to put the rose petals. However, if you do want to incorporate or stabilize or experience love, um, then I would definitely encourage you guys to do that. It really empowers not only for relationships, not only for partnerships, but also for self love, you guys, and that is very crucial and very important. All right, so in this process, as you guys can see, it's almost filled to the top. I am going to incorporate the um, the dice here, and I'm going to put it right at the center. Like that. And then I'm going to fill it with the rice. All right, and it's gonna look like this, you guys. It looks very, very pretty, very beautiful. All right, so let me bless it, give me one second. right at the very top that's where you're going to put the coconut coconut is very very um, powerful when we're talking about opening doors when we're talking about uh, creating um, facilitation towards our success and towards our goals so that's the reason why we put it at the very top All right, my lovely, so once that is done, it's going to look like this. Let me see if I can raise the, oh. 
And at the very top, I put some patchouli leaves up there um, just because it smells amazing. And also because patchouli, as you guys know, is a very strong uh, magnet uh, to drawing in not only love, but drawing in success, drawing in abundance, and obviously money, wealth, prosperity. Um, so again, this is, I encourage you guys to do this. Um, for those of you guys that are going to comment, can I do it after New Year's? Absolutely. You can do this whenever you like. Um, however, I do encourage you guys to do it at least the first month of 2022 um, or any year after that, uh, just so that you can be able to really align yourself to uh, the abundance and the wealth and success that you're trying to draw into your life for this or the coming years. Um, so I would highly encourage you guys to do it in the beginning of the year. I want to wish you guys happy holidays to every single one of you guys. Once we have this done, what we're going to do is, again, like I said, for those of you guys that don't have uh, the candles that we have online, you're going to be using four white candles that are seven-day candles, like this one, and you're going to put two at the top, two at the bottom of the container. So as an example, it's going to be one here, one here, one here, and one here. Okay, so it's going to be surrounded by the candles. You're going to light the candles. You're going to ask your spirit guides to bring in the flow of money and abundance or success that you are welcoming into your life. You're going to let them completely extinguish. Once they have been extinguished, for some of you guys, it could, you know, the seven day candles burn very differently for everyone. It just depends how blocked you are. It just depends if you're in alignment. It just depends, um, you know, what's going on in your life right now. If you're really struggling, it may take a little bit longer for the seven day candles to burn out. However, don't get frustrated. Just know and understand that the wax is a representation of the blockages that we're currently incurring or going through. So as they melt away, the blockages are also being removed. So that's the reason why we use the wall, which is the four elements, earth, air, fire, water. Once they have extinguished, once they have consumed themselves, you can go ahead and decorate. What I'm going to do is once, um, once the candle is completely burned out for my client, what I'm going to do is I always put a rune at the very, um, in front of the container so you can use any type of rune or any type of symbol that represents abundance to you i prefer to use runes only because not a lot of people are aware of them or knowledgeable of them and obviously if you put like a money sign people you know if people come into your office or they go into your home and they see a money you know money sign and then they see this they're going to be like oh you know it's it's probably for money and you just don't want that type of energy it's preferred when people don't know you know what I mean so I always put rune uh, a rune for my client in the containers um, and once that is done you can then wrap a bow around it the wrapping of the bow is you are in essence um, tying or I don't want to use the word binding but it's in some shape way or form you're kind of binding yourself to abundance and success and it also makes the container look very pretty so I hope you guys enjoy. I want to wish you guys happy holidays to each and every single one of you guys. May this coming 2022 bring to you guys a lot of health, a lot of prosperity, a lot of success, a lot of happiness, joy, um, and give you many, many reasons to continue feeling blessed. Happy holidays to all of you guys. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. Thank you guys so much for trusting in me and following me. Uh, you can follow all my social medias. Instagram, TikTok, all of that is in the description box below. Again, we'll see each other soon. Till next year. Bye.